This is Bob Charles with another HFL news break. This past weekend, the HFL playoffs got underway. We saw the Cougars victimize the Lasers. We also watched the Badlands get past the Red Dogs, who have never lost a playoff game in Red Dog history. And there's a live look in at head coach Tim Malone from the Cougars. Is there any truth to the fact that head coach Paul Malone from the Lasers snubbed you at the 50-yard line following the game? Well, um, from what I understand, uh, it's not so much that it was a snub, really. Um, what I've been told uh, by some people on my staff is uh, the uh, bacon, egg, and cheese burrito didn't agree with him that morning. Um, so I'm hearing that he had to get to uh, <laughs> the men's room a little quick. So um, I don't think that necessarily it was a snub. Um, I just think that uh, probably was some other issues. But I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, he's a stand-up guy and he'll uh, probably give us a call and, uh, you know, wish us luck against the Badlands. How do you feel about your overall chances uh, going into that laser game uh, did you feel that you dominate the lasers like you did? Uh, give us a sense of what was you going through your mind uh, as you were setting your lineup and uh, and looking over the lasers lineup. Uh, give us a little insight to uh, you know what goes through your mind. Well, the lasers are who we thought they are. Okay, uh, my opinion of the lasers was uh, they they weren't as dominant as the team they were last year. Okay, uh, I think that. Uh, uh, you know, at best, the uh, Lasers were, you know, basically uh, a fourth seed team in, in the playoffs. Uh, I, I thought that, uh, you know, they really have no biz uh, business winning a, uh, a division, but the North Division is, um, you know, it's so weak. Um, and the South has always been strong. I mean, I don't know if he'd be even be able to compete in the South, to be honest with you. So, um I, I didn't see much uh, much trouble facing the lasers, and uh, we took care of them uh, pretty easy. Now, this coming week is a huge week for your franchise. You're facing the Badlands, okay? This season, you split with them. He uh, he hung on in that second game, and, uh, and he came through and beat you. But uh, how do you feel you match up with the Badlands? Overall, can you give us uh, some insight to how you feel about going into the Super Bowl and, uh, and what you'll be doing? Yeah, uh, the matchup with the Badlands, uh, you know, I think we match up pretty good with those guys. Uh, you know, we, uh, they're in our division. We know them pretty well. They know us. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we beat them uh, the first week. And, you know, maybe uh, uh, they want to hang their hat on the fact that they didn't have Manning available. But, uh, you know, uh, we played them the second time, and uh, they, squeak, they squeak by us. So we're not afraid of the Badlands at all. Uh, I, uh, I think we got some pretty good matchups. And uh, I think uh, I look out for, uh, for our team to really come out uh, scoring quick and fast, in the, in the, uh, especially in the 1 o'clock games. And then, uh, you know, just finish them off with the 4 o'clock games. And uh, I, I, I really feel good about our chances winning the, winning the Super Bowl this year. Uh, you know, we've won six out of the last eight games. We're a hot team. Nobody wants to face us. So, uh, if I were the Badlands, uh, I'd look out because, uh, you know, the Cougars, uh, they're coming. We're coming for you. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck in HFL Bowl 11. All right, Bob. Thanks a lot. Who the hell's Bob Charles? And later on, we're going to take a look at the upcoming Super Bowl between the Cougars and Badlands. Playbook will analyze each team and their matchups and exactly what they need to do, or should I say, who they need to start. But right now, stay tuned for Eight is Enough. This is Bob Charles, and this has been an HFL Network Super Bowl.